Welcome to the lesson on rational functions and their graphs. In this lesson, our essential question, what are the key properties of rational functions and their graphs? So we're going to learn about what exactly rational functions are, and we're going to discuss continuous and discontinuous graphs, holes, and asymptotes. First and foremost, if a function has a polynomial in its denominator, its graph has a gap at each zero of the polynomial, because again, uh, we should know by now that if the denominator of a if, of a fraction either then that fraction is undefined. Therefore, f of x would be undefined if the denominator of a rational function is zero. So that gap could either be what we call a one-point hole or a vertical asymptote. What exactly is a rational function? Well, it's a function that you can write in the form of f of x equals p of x over q of x where p of x and q of x are both polynomial functions. The domain of f of x is all the real numbers except those values for which q of x, which is the denominator, equals zero. When the denominator does equal zero, um, the point for which causes it, the denominator to equal zero, so say uh, a is a real number that causes the rational function f of x, or the denominator of a rational function f of x to equal zero, and therefore the graph is not continuous uh, at x equals a and it is not part of the domain of f, f of x. Um, the, that point is called a point of discontinuity and we say that the function has a point of discontinuity at x equals a. Now there's two types of points of discontinuity. There's removable discontinuity which means that if Say, for example, we have the graph of y equals x plus 3 times x plus 2 all over x plus 2. We see that the denominator would equal 0 and x equals negative 2. So that's our point of discontinuity. However, we can rewrite the function because the numerator and denominator have a common factor, which is x plus 2. So if we divide x plus 2 by x plus 2, we get 1. So we can rewrite the we can rewrite the function as x or sorry y equals x plus three and therefore we're, we are removing that discontinuity therefore it's a removable discontinuity and the graph there will be a hole there at x equals negative two uh, non-removable discontinuity is when we can't rewrite the function so for example y equals x plus four all over x minus two uh, there's a discontinuity at x equals 2. We cannot rewrite the function, therefore it's a non-removable discontinuity. There's no way to redefine the function at 2 to make the function continuous. Here's an example of a rational function. If we look at the denominator, there are no values of x which make the denominator 0, so it is a continuous function. You see that you can draw the graph from left to right without picking your pencil up from the paper. Here's an example of a discontinuous graph. We see that there's a removable discontinuity at x equals negative 2, and therefore you see a hole at x equals negative 2. There's a hole in the graph. In the function y equals x plus 4 all over x minus 2, that is a non-removable discontinuity at x equals 2. Therefore, there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Also, since that uh, value can never equal 0, there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. That was our lesson um, on rational functions and their graphs. I hope you learned uh, a lot. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on BBIM uh, by text message or by email, whatever is easiest for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Come to live class where you can ask questions. I will be ha more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, to go into this more in depth and to go over practice problems and homework problems uh, with you. If you need any further help, meet me in the Math Cafe. I'm in there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 11 a.m. Also, there is a teacher in there from 9 to 3 every day that is more than willing to help you with your math questions.